Hello and welcome to Snetterton's Farm. Um, you catch us pretty much where we left off last time. Um, we're outside at the store and we need to do some purchasing of equipment. So I hope we've got enough money for this. Um, basically, we are going to sort of set ourselves up to do some of the things we talked about last time, which was doing some manure, like essentially making some solid manure from our liquid manure and using that in the greenhouses um so we have our compost which can make compost and that's actually over there and i think that's actually full um i haven't checked it for a little while um but we need to get some manure going so with that in mind we're going to purchase some equipment so we need to shift some manure from uh, the main farm down to the uh, BGA. We also need to shift some straw. Now the straw should be fairly straightforward because we do actually have a couple of trucks, I think, up there with trailers, so we can bring that down. What we don't have is a tanker. So what I'm actually thinking is for a tanker is to get a custom road train tanker set up so we get the twin star duo and then we purchase these two tanker a and tanker b and we take those and basically um build a little 100k liter uh road train and we should be able to shift that down i can't remember how much um manure the um thing takes what we can do is we can do more than one trip um but um to get this set up um, but that if we you know if it takes 100k with a full up if it takes 150k then we do a two trips and you know we kind of um sort of work from there so i'm going to get this guy uh we're going to get all the hitches essentially we're going to get the more powerful engine and we are going to paint this an orange color. You get wide tires, we can leave well the wind there. We don't worry about the chassis, just um check a plate or whatever, it's no big difference. We're gonna get that. Stop parts we're gonna go with because I don't like the chrome. So we've purchased that. So right, this is where we actually have to be a bit crafty. So in order to kind of um hook everything up, I'm gonna move this forward and kind of sure really should be enough and we're going to do this trick that we can do with the tractor trailers to make um hooking up easy so we need a tanker a trailer this is for 40 000 liters this one's 60 so total is 100k so we'll get all the attaches. We're gonna do main color, same as the thing. We'll set up that. Uh, decals. Um, generic. Um, what we're gonna do is do. We'll do the. Um, Let's do the show field, fill type decals. Um, I think we'll go with the generic fuel decals. I don't think it's going to make much odds. So, first off, we do that. You can see we have our trailer. We're going to jump in here and we go back. We attach to drive forward. This is a crafty way of building road trains, by the way. It works really well if you've got enough space to do so uh, to actually do it. So we're going to do the same colours, uh, same wheel setup, all attaches. We're going to die. I think we went a little bit too far forward, but that's fine. We're just going to back up slowly. 
corner, back knife from it. I did go a little bit too far. Basically, tables just hook up. And we've got our up. So, um, we'll just spend a bit of money on a vehicle. Now, um, I'm going to leave that here. So we've got a truck up at the, the farm already for the straw. And we need this. To, we need to fill this up with manure. Um, so I'll leave that there for a second. We do kind of need to take this guy back. Um, so let's put this. This guy is going to basically be the lead vehicle. We're going to go up a little, little bit of a road train um, with our bolt with follow me. Um, this is the quicker vehicle. So we put this in the rear. Uh, the Land Rover is a little bit slower. So we're going to take that up to the farm. Wait for the traffic. And we will head up in a farmyard. Make sure that the back to trail is following us. Um, and we'll head up and um, basically good there any minute. So this is um, we're going to use this for it's going to be generic hauling of non food items I think um, <laughs> after all we're going to use this for, for, for shifting manure we really don't want to be uh, um, using it to move milk do we um, if we're doing this realistically we would not be allowed to by law that, uh, move manure in the back of a tractor trailer and then use it the same vehicle later for um, milk. So, um, so these are gone. And we'll head up to the farm by the uh, on track. So hopefully this guy's going to make it around the corner. Wait for a second. Good. Head up to the farm. So it's kind of winter, so you know we obviously have to do other tasks. So the BGA is one of the things we're going to be doing. Um, I think the greenhouses are a good little source of income throughout the year, so they're not affected by the seasons mod. Um, so it, it is good for us to sort of use that um, and kind of top them up. So I want to get. Um, Good bit of manure into them. Good bit of um, compost. Now, the compost we do have. Uh, I don't think there's a truck down there at the moment. I will check once we get everything back to the yard. I can't remember if I left a truck down there or not. So we did unload a bunch of stuff into the uh, composter down there and I can't remember what the status of that was um, so there's a vehicle down there we'll just um, okay I don't know where that lorry's gone he got stuck uh, and we're going to have to rescue him Let's just do shift F, get rid of it up there. Just stop the Land Rover. Let's head over to the truck, see how it's got stuck. I fall in a hole, wasn't it? Yeah. 
white one. Okay, so this is going to be for Minya, so let's just check um, which one to go for actually. Um, both of them have plenty of manure, so I think I'm going to go with pigs. Because, um, to be fair, cows have the tightest turning. I mean, we could get it in there, I think. Um, I am going to. I don't know actually. It's on the top. I'm going to go across the grass. It's not right, but um, I am going to do that. Partly because I'll turn this sucker around. Um, oh, the mirror's around there. But basically, it's just for the turning and everything else. It's pretty tight. Um, said. It could actually be kind of tricky. Oh, I'm filling up the back. I do love the logos on these. They're so funny. I mean, liquid manure. Um, yeah, tell everyone what you've got in there. It's pretty cool. Um, the I do like this um, custom road trading pack. It's a really cool little thing. Um, what we'll do is we'll drive... Uh, Kind of want. Um, we're gonna. Actually, I'm gonna nip out because a lot of this fills. Let's run across the, um, the little river um, and grab. Start off actually, because I want to take both of them to the same place. So I might as well um, run across our little river up the thing. Uh, we have a truck and hook loader somewhere. Right. There we are. Let's hook that back. Um. Got a ton of straw in here, so um, what we're going to do is fill this up. This is this will take two hundred. This was actually done. A, this um hmm, interesting compost master oh this one was doing the compost master run um took grass down interesting i am not going to have it do that for the moment um i am going to um we need Draw. I'm just going to let that fill up whilst we go grab the manure wagon uh, nip across our field again uh, this guy should be full 40k litres and 60k litres so this is going to be the interesting bit whoa I messed that one up didn't I Of course, that is not the realistic way to turn something like this. Now, um, I'm going to go across the grass because we'll never make this turn um, otherwise. I'm actually going to be surprised if we make the turn here as well. Drop this here. This is going to be the most tricky truck, so I think we'll put that as a lead vehicle. Uh, this guy can follow. So the hook loader trailers tend to have a habit of tipping over. 
Um, so, kind of not sure. Careful, I guess. Either way. It's too far to any of them. Right, what we're going to do is take this guy to um, the BGA with the uh, trailer full of, of manure. Um, so we, this will be full of units. <coughs> and um, we should be good to go. Okay. Caution. Contains political promises. Oh dear. Ooh. I can never remember how this is. That is. I love that. Caution, this trailer contains political promises. Well, it does, it carries bullshit. Um, sorry for the swearing, but um, it just had to be said, didn't it? Really. Okay, so we may end up going into the field a little bit um, on our nicely thing, but we've got nothing planted, so we should be fine. Um, we've got to make this turn as well, so it's going to be hard work. This is a very heavy load. It's not the. I suppose it's not. It is not that bad a route, but um, it is a bit windy, and we do have a you know a quite a long load here. It's got to navigate. Um, it's you know pretty tight turns. Um, so yeah, there we have it. And we're kind of free reading a little bit here. Right, so the next tricky section is this here. Uh, making this turn should be okay. Taking a little bit wide. Should be fine. When we get to the bottom of the hill, we're going right. Hopefully the guy behind us doesn't tip up or fall over or generally make a mess of himself. Um, kind of just gently going down the hill. A little bit freewheeling. Just kind of want to get us there in one piece, really. Um, okay, so we're going to make this turn. Um, should be our okay traffic front. First test is whether or not this guy follows us. We're not going too quick, so we shouldn't have any issues. Um, although the top speed of this apparently is 83 miles an hour, we're not going to be hitting that. Oh, I'm going down the wrong side of the road, aren't I? This is two-way traffic on this map. Gone past the first. I don't want to stop there, but um, we can't really. That is the lumber yard. The lumber yard is going to get a lot of work on it when it when we um, do our um, post year one production revamp. Um, there's some interesting stuff dropped down. Um, Okay, so coming up to our turn. Still behind us, which is good. Go through our apparently 2k gun through for. Um, and we are going to load here. So I'm just going to stop the following vehicle. We do need to do this in different order. Um, yeah. Get this guy here. Yeah. 
could actually be kind of tricky. I don't know what the... The hitbox is like on this, to be honest. Just, oh, I'm just kind of putting that on because I kind of want to see... do the back so let's just whilst that's filling up it's going to take a little while and grab this guy and get him to drop off great thing about this draw it's easy And we're tipping our straw. Uh, oh wow, okay. 160k. So we'll leave this guy here for the moment. Actually we'll just park him over here out of the way. We might drop the straw into the BGA, I might just leave it as it is. Um, but we can just leave that there for the moment this is probably going to require more than Part myself half in half out. It's actually pretty tight fit to actually do this. You see, that's now empty. This one's full ish. Portion. This container contains political promises. That is pretty cool. So, let's just check out. Yeah, so we've got um. Hmm. I think this one's going to take 160k as well. Um, we might do a second trip. Um, might do a second trip. So, definitely leave that running. So that's going to start off very soon. Um, what we can do, actually, let's. I'm going to drop this into. Actually, I've actually got quite a lot of digester. Actually, thinking about it, well, you have quite a lot of digester. I don't have a huge amount, so we have run a bit of. Uh, comp um, it's hard to do the thing, but we can definitely sort of drop we can drop this into one of these and um, unload that. It's going to make us a little bit of money anyway. This is empty. Um, take this back up to the farm. is all empty so we'll head this head back up to the farm let's check for traffic and head back past the cattle market 
which we actually haven't had to use yet, which is, I, I mean, I like the fact that we started off with 10 animals, and we basically, you know, those have grown slowly. Oh. Wait, oh. We hit oncoming traffic, so hold on, I have to go and... Let's get this guy out of here, because he has crashed into oncoming cars. And oncoming cars are bad. One of the things you have to remember uh, with, with, with AI traffic on, cars don't give way and they hurt, as it were. Um, when you hit them, they stop you and they don't, they don't, they don't stop for anything, really. Um, we just have to be careful. Um, surprising, um, surprising little, uh, kind of road elements. Uh, just doesn't feel like you're going, um, you kind of feel, don't kind of notice that really how close it really is. Feels longer. Um, head up to the farm. I'm going to kind of cut across the field because um, just a little bit too windy in this truck. I want to get across that. I want to basically um, that gate with minimal fuss. Um, so we've kind of we've set off one of the items today. We've got a little bit of production. We are actually coming up to our time, which is kind of unfortunate. It's time has flown. Um, so I'm just going to nip across this field. Not very realistic, but you know. It's fine. And it also means you don't have to deal with this tight corner. It's a very tight corner. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just park this on the side here. Stop my following vehicle, but I'm going to put my following vehicle on a little task. Um, we've got um, we've got a lot of straw. We've got we've got more than enough straw actually to do what I, th I want to do now, which is take some down. Um, compost. I, I just don't remember how much compost the compost has got in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up with about 200k. Um, and then I'm going to send this down with the um, horse play. Um, and we're just going to should have actually done this. Do uh, should have just let this go from there. Um, actually going the right way. He isn't, is he? I actually just realised he's actually facing the wrong um, it from first waypoint. That's the actual bot. Uh, I'm going to take this out of the way. because he's actually potentially blocking our truck. Uh, 
Finish him off. This guy's gonna fill up. We're gonna leave him to it. He's just gonna fill. So there we have it. Um, basically, we're gonna. We've been setting up um, our solid manure production so we can do some greenhouse stuff. Um, so that's gonna take a little time to do and get enough for us to take over there. Um, I'm just gonna take this um, down um, to the composter for one of two reasons one to see what the fill levels like but second reason is really to um, top it up if it needs it and also you know basically give um, uh, something there to move some compost if we need to um, basically um, that's probably a task for next time uh, we still have a task in the BGA we still have some silage to, to process um, so we might do that next um, so yeah thank you for watching um, if you enjoyed today's episode please hit the like button not done much today but we've kind of done a little bit of moving some stuff and getting some stuff running um, but you know we've not got a huge amount of time so uh, we've kind of been quite full on this guy's gonna go let's uh, let's head down with him um, so yes um, thank you all for watching uh, so if you like today's show uh, like the uh, today's episode then please hit the like button if you want to see more from this series and from our um, Che Farm, Che Hills series Che Hill, um, and everything else please hit the, uh, the subscribe button and um, I'm going to leave you with a shot from our truck heading down to the composter so thank you all for watching see you guys next time and uh, great day bye